We're going to get churros for my wife. <laughs> You've been hanging out for this? Churros time. I love churros. Lekker? Good. It's very different to what we get in Australia. It is, like the chocolate bread is totally different. It's not like sweet, it's, it's, it's bread. It's really good bread. It was good. Uh, I'm not as big a churros fan as you, but um, it was nice. The coffee was excellent. The service was atrocious, but everything else was yeah, good. That works too. I loved it. The churros there was the best that I've ever had. The service was slow. And the place is a bit loud too, they can't really talk much. We had six churros, chocolate, and Rob had a coffee, and all that was four euro 90 cents. So I think that's a good deal. Here in Spain, one very common thing to have is like uh, you can get a portion, a normal portion for like a full meal, or you can get half, uh, they call it media ration, or they, I think you can do a fourth as well. Um, it's just a great way to turn it into a tapa. Yes, yes. Okay, so I think there's prawns and batter. And there's some bread, and there's, uh, I'm guessing, an aioli or garlic dip with it. This is the gambas and the chai. And this is the media pasta. Media it, it was really delicious, but now I think I want something that's not deep fried. Sumo con fresa, plátano y naranja, cortosa. Muy, muy rico. And apparently you can't grill the cheese. Yeah, it's That's a no-no. No. <laughs> he asked and they're like, you don't grill it. <laughs> they were horrified. Yeah. Is <laughs> el pan cateto or no? Uno por favor. Cuanto cuesta? Thank you. The dried mango without sugar. It is really, really nice. Mm. It rivals the Philippines. Wow. Yeah. Quería también explicar un poquito porque porque ya estoy hablando en otros idiomas, en español, en holandés o algo. Me gustaría hacerlo porque creo que es muy importante. Um, poder hablar idiomas, pero la mayoría de la gente creen que no es vale la pena. Yo no hablo perfectamente. Creo que es vale la pena intentar de uh, entender un idioma y también una cultura, aun si nunca vas a poder hablarlo como una nativa. Mi meta es poder hablar con personas y si yo no hablo perfectamente, todavía está bien. Toda la gente aquí pueden pueden entenderme y yo puedo entender casi todo, es suficiente y me gusta también darles una motivación para hacer lo mismo.
We're just walking along the coastline here and on one side there's like lights and the ferris wheel that you can see behind me um, and on the other side there are these things called changuitos and they're just like um, they look like they're just shops like seaside shops restaurants and cafes and like gelaterias and that kind of thing one thing that we've obviously noticed here is the different pace of life. From about 12 to 3, they have a siesta. Usually if they are close enough to their houses, they do come home from work and they do have a lunch and then they go to bed. Philippe, the tour guide, also pointed out that a lot of the um, people in, in uh, Malaga and Spain in general actually have two jobs. So by having this extended siesta, siesta break during the day, they're able to do the first job in the morning, have a bit of a break or catch up with the family, have a sleep, then go back to the second job. This is the Playa La Malagueta. In one of the coolest dinger here in Malaga is that it's a strand heeft and the strand is heel dicht by the centrum eigenlijk. My first tapa, my first tapa is a Russian salad. I don't know why they have Russian salads here in Spain. Shrimp and some sort of loin. I don't see any greenery so far. Is it like a coleslaw maybe? It's not coleslaw. Mm. Pasta salad? No? Potato. Oh, potato salad, okay. But it's yeah. excellent. Mm. That is heaven. Seriously. What is that? It's a mini burger with a um, truffle mayo sauce. Mm. It is, is really, really yummy. It really reminds me of Berkelijk. Mm, better than Berkelijk. Foie gras. And what is that, Rob? This one. And that's a, the Iberian pork is, a, is especially bread pork, or especially bread pig here. It's, I think it's called the black pig. That's the one that the two guy, um, yeah. Philippe, was telling us about. So. I Pata tried two negra. samples yesterday and it was sensational, really, really. And we bought a like a, ki a quarter kilo of it today. Yes, we did, yeah. Rob's a new fan. It's really nice, but it is not as good as yesterday. This is Boquerones, which is like the local sort of anchovy that they have here in Malaga. We had a total of six tapas. Rob had a beer, we had bread to share, and what's there? Oh yeah, yeah and I had a two. Four. I had two tapas. You yeah, had four. I had four, but they're tiny. <laughs> but it was still a full meal, actually, um, all together, and um, it cost twenty nine euro, which is actually a bit dear, I think. I think it's a little bit dear, yeah. But it's on the beach. Yeah, I mean, this is a touristy area that we went to, so that's kind of to be expected. But. I thought everything was really good. Yep. Um, nothing was like the best I've ever had or anything, but I really liked it. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Well, the ambiance is excellent too, so. Yeah, and the company. Yeah, of course the company. Way to end the day. And the newest word in Spanish she's learned, helado. That's the face of a happy rock. It is the face, the face of a happy rock. Don't forget to subscribe to join us in our travels. Also, check out our Lucky Dippers podcast.